Hey there, thanks for being here today. I'm Don Mamoni. I'm a hospitality veteran, I'm an artist, I'm also an entrepreneur. Today we're gonna talk about customer service. First, we're gonna define customer service. Next, we're gonna talk about why it's so important to your business. And lastly, I'm gonna share with you my five-step framework for creating an exceptional customer experience and one bonus tip that's gonna elevate your brand and set you apart from the competition. So how do we define customer service? It's a company that creates a culture that recognizes the importance of and empowers its employees to actively create exceptional customer experiences. All too often, customer service is thought of as something that happens at the end of the sales cycle. You've got branding, marketing, sales, and then customer service. When in actuality, we want people to start having exceptional client experiences from the very beginning. So customer service should be a number one priority when creating your company culture. When we start talking about the specific benefits of creating exceptional client experiences, one of the first things that comes to mind is differentiation. If you're in a saturated marketplace like so many of us, you can create an experience that doesn't allow for a commoditization of your good or service. Your customer will be looking for you, not just somebody that does what you do or provides what you provide. Next, I think about reputation. If you're providing exceptional customer service and your reputation reflects as such, your customer's coming to you already at the next level of sales. They already wanna do business with you. And lastly, pricing. If you offer great customer service, you're gonna be able to increase your margins because we've found people are willing to pay for that exceptional experience you're creating. Okay, so earlier in this video, I promised you my five-step framework for how to create exceptional customer experiences. One, curate your client list. It's gonna be much easier for you to create an exceptional client experience when you're working with your ideal client. Two, you need to confirm expectations and then exceed them. Here's an example. If you tell your client, I'm gonna get that to you right away, your version of right away and their version of right away might be very different. So you need to qualify what their expectation is and then aim to exceed it every time. Three, anticipate needs. You're the expert in your field, not your client. If you can be proactive rather than reactive, they're gonna be able to look to you and you'll be the leader that they need. Four, go the extra mile for your client. Do everything you said you were gonna do and make every effort to do just a little bit more. Five, your client is always your client, not just when you're doing immediate business with them. Establish a relationship with that client, check in with them frequently, even when you're not actively working on a project. They're really gonna appreciate it. Okay, here's that bonus tip I promised you. If you can take this framework and the principles we just talked about, and you can apply them not only to your client, but to everybody that you interact with in your business, you're gonna increase credibility, establish your reputation, and elevate your brand among all of your competitors. All right, that's all we have for you today. We are gonna to continue to regularly create content, so be sure to subscribe to this channel down below. Also, like, comment, and share so someone else can benefit from this five-step framework and bonus tip on how to create exceptional client experiences.